Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now some interesting something interesting happened to me, you know, a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a few weeks ago, a guy came up to me, you know, knows I kind of watch sports all the time and then, you know, knows I talk about boxing from time to time, you know, so he gets information from me, what's going on and stuff. So he came up to me, yo, man, I got to fight Floyd Mayweather really lost. I was watching it the other day and Floyd really lost the fight. The punching stats said the other guy won. I was like, oh, that's Castillo won. You know, that's when he fought Castillo won. Yeah. He beat him, man, you know, and I'm, you know, say the stuff that I'm, you know, know because I've watched a time or two, you know, over the years, and I'm like, well, I don't know if he beat him, but it was a close fight, and did they mention that Floyd hurt his shoulder in that one? They probably didn't, right, and some fights they're going to mention that and some they won't, like Pacquiao or Lomachenko versus Tio Lopez or Pacquiao versus Mayweather. The shoulder thing was okay. Mayweather had obviously a hurt shoulder early, forced him to go southpaw, but they didn't mention that, did they? No, no, but, uh, you know, he lost. You know, this guy was elated. He found something. Floyd lost. And so I'm like, well, I don't really think he lost his close fight. And all of the greats have those close fights. People that, you know, matter of fact, I haven't watched Castillo too again, but I'm like, well, I told him, you know, Castillo was good against him in the second fight too. Ain't that much separation. That was Floyd's hardest dude, you know. That boy fought, fought Floyd, right? So, you know, I go back and I check it out, finally. Watched it. You know, it's little things that you got to just pay attention to. First of all, Castillo was, uh, uh, he had won 45 fights. The dude had 41 knockouts for 45 fights, and I think only four losses at the time. The dude was at a higher weight division. Out of actually two higher weight divisions than Floyd. Floyd was going up to think the 135, and he was at 126, and then it went 130, and he went up 135. So on fight night, the guy was nine pounds heavier than Floyd. You know, for example, just say it. So nine pounds heavier. For those who don't want to know, like you remember when we say Marquez was too light for Floyd Mayweather on their fight, and we you know give him a little you know excuse because he comes up, but on fight night, Marquez was one pound lighter than Floyd Mayweather. For example, right? And for example. Marquez, when he knocked Pacquiao out cold, remember that one? Pacquiao versus Marquez, four. Well, Pacquiao was four or five pounds heavier than Marquez. So put all that together and make your decision. Those are just facts, right? So, <clears throat> you know, Floyd going up there, fighting a bigger guy with this kind of punching power and resilience, right? So, uh, you know, Floyd hurts his uh, shoulder in round one or whatever. It has to deal with it. We ain't trying to give him no excuses, but he had to go southpaw a little bit and wasn't able to do this. And he had to, you know, because if he wasn't able, didn't use it at all, he probably wasn't going to beat no Castillo. So, you know, it's just a few things, you know, that I was looking, you know, I'm looking at the fight and I'm looking at the first rounds, you know, because I'm looking at the fight like, okay, Castillo about to get in his butt. Let's see. You know, I'm really looking at round for round. And that's what I would hope that anybody, if you really think Castillo beat Floyd Mayweather, right? Instead of just going with what they say, go back and watch it and come back and say, what rounds, right? Don't just generalize. What round, right? Because I can just pick out a round right now where it was like round 10, for example. Round 10, which I'm pretty sure the commentators and uh, Letterman and all them gave to your boy Castillo. Now, round 10, for example, you watch just that one, and watch Floyd piece him up the whole round. But they be conveniently talking about something else, right, while that's going on. You watching the fight, that's why a lot of people say just turn, turn the commentary off and just watch what's going on. And so Castillo lands a time or two towards the end, right, but lost that whole round. Matter of fact, I think he got beat up bad that round pretty much. Floyd was hitting him with power shots, right? And they, just because they were talking about something else, if you're paying attention to the fight and don't care what somebody's saying, you, you can't ignore that, damn, he's getting pieced up in round 10. Now, round 10, I think, is the, the round, if I'm not mistaken, where Floyd was deducted a point because he was pushing. Right? Man warned him. He'd do it anyway. Get deducted a point. But what did they start talking about? Well, that should be a 10-8 round. Well, a 10-8 round would mean that Castillo won the round. And he wasn't winning that round. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's a 10-9 round. Right? And speaking of that, Floyd had my man down in round two, right? But he didn't get credit for a knockdown. For just example, 
You know, so I'm just saying, a lot of little things in that fight. Um, there wasn't too much commentary on Floyd's uh, exploits. And, you know, when Floyd Mayweather gets hit, even back then, it's more of an event. You know, and that's what we have to really look at it through that perspective. That's how people are looking at Floyd fights. If anybody hits him or, or whatever, one hit, you know, you could probably take a round if you hit him and keep swinging at him after you hit him once. From You swing at him three times, you hit him once. That is an event for the people in the crowd. They're going nuts. And it's like, but not all the defense that Floyd is doing. You're not, you know, the, the misses that he did. He got him once because it's a boxing match. You came, you know avoid everything, and the other three goes by, and then there's a check, uh, left hook or something real quick, or, or, or right hand, and got up out of there, and there's no comment. I'm just saying, you know, these things are out there. I would encourage anybody to go back and look, because this is so awesome to me. I'm thinking if this is the, 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 the match that we all agree on that Floyd possibly lost, then, uh, then he's just more awesome. That's what it makes me look like. The, for, when I'm watching this, I'm seeing Floyd is, is ridiculously awesome. You know, it's ridiculously awesome because the 116, 111 scores is close to what I had. You know, I gave Castillo a few rounds here or there, but, you know, those first four or five rounds, I think they gave him a, a round in the first four or something. And I'm like, how, man? He barely touched Floyd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, just because he's coming forward, he's the bigger man. He's coming forward. And, you know, he's trying to make the action. He's the bigger man. And, you know, Floyd has to do what he got to do to keep him off of him, right? And uh, I didn't see him hitting him. And then I, seen, I heard something in round eight from your boy Larry Merchant. He said if, the, if it's a, a close fight, Castillo being the aggressor is probably going to make the difference. And I'm thinking, yeah, I wish you would say that. Let's go right, squirt over here, excuse me, and go in the future to Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Right? The first fight. The perception is Tyson Fury did enough to win the fight. Saying that Deontay Wilder didn't win any round other than the rounds he had him knocked down. And let's say the same statement right now in the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. If it's a close fight, right? Wilder being the aggressive can make the difference. Right? It should be. Right? Because actually, Castillo's the bigger man. Wilder is 30 pounds less than this other galoop, right? And he got no credit at all for being the aggressor of the fight. Didn't win none of the rounds for somebody. And that's why I want to tell people to watch that fight for in particular is take the knockdowns out. Don't even watch that part. Watch round one to round six and tell me that Tyson Fury won all of those rounds. Because that's the myth. Just one to six, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder won. And Tyson Fury didn't win that. Maybe four to two for Fury, and I'm being generous. It's at least three to three. And then we go get the knockdowns. Wilder won that fight. And that for, for me, it's, I don't care what people say. I'm watching it. Like, why wouldn't he? Those are the things that we have. Those are the criteria normally. The aggressor gets close rounds. That was always Deontay Wilder. Um, <clears throat> so when I'm looking at this, I'm just saying it just shows me, you know, Mayweather's... Um, legacy you know it's no doubt about it anyway but you know when people come and watch this fight you just listen to what people are saying and not really watching it yes it was a close fight yes Castillo did well I don't think he won the fight and I don't really think it was really close that he won the fight and I think under the circumstances I think we should be talking about Mayweather how he was able to deal with the bigger guy and obviously hurt shoulder and was able to deal with this guy Right, even to the point where it fought, gave him Mexican style in round ten. Uh, the, you know, you know, um, it's it's ridiculous when we're talking about Mayweather's close fights because this is it. Castillo's the close fight. Medina won. They call it close, and I don't have to go back and look at that. I, that wasn't even really close. You know, he really doesn't have any close. We got to just hope for stuff like, oh man, remember Shane Mosley had him had him rocked. Remember Zab Judah had him rocked. You know what I'm saying? But a close fight, nah, not really. You know what I mean? Not not really. You, you know, so therefore, that was just something that I just figured I'd just share with you guys, right? Um, if anybody is talking to you about the Castillo fight, then you guys say, okay, I tell you what, we'll sit down and we'll watch whatever round you say that he won. Let's go for round for round. What round did Castillo win? And we could talk about that round. And the round that Castillo won, whichever ones it is, right? Like, I don't know which one I got, uh, which one, like, uh, uh whew, man, uh, uh, like nine, 
nine maybe, something like that. I gave him a draw. I even gave him ten because of the deduction, right? But when you go through those rounds, only those rounds, and stop it at every punch that landed, and even the punches that the crowd go off because it was swung at somebody which really shouldn't count. That's why the judges got this one right. I think we should celebrate when judges get it right, but we seem not to. Of course, you're looking at it and thinking Mayweather should lose because he's so quick every time he gets out the way. And you just and that. People don't like that. But at the end of the day, Mayweather, in his worst fight, didn't look bad at all. And that's the truth. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about here, y'all.